Time now, 602, let's get you in the know. The debate over mask mandates in schools boiled over again in another Bay Area school district, this time Sarasota. Starting on Monday, students will have to mask up after a new mask mandate has been put in place for the next 90 days. The board made the decision yesterday in an emergency meeting. Sarasota is now the sixth district in the state to enforce a policy that goes against Governor Ron DeSantis' executive order. But the decision was even divided among board members who couldn't all agree on the best way to keep COVID out of the classrooms. Right now, 915 students, 84 staff in Sarasota County are either sick or in quarantine after being exposed. That is why the board called an emergency meeting. But they were forced to recess four times as passionate parents ignored the rules and, as you can see, spoke their minds. Bo Zimmer was there as the arguments then spilled onto the street. It was a night filled with anger. When you mask a child, it is child abuse. Emotions. You guys ought to be ashamed of yourself. And interruptions. Why don't you want to hear what we say? Put it That's right. Hard. School board members choosing to pause Friday night's emergency meeting multiple times, even threatening to have everyone removed over constant interruptions and outbursts. Excuse me, clear the gallery, clear the gallery. You are liar. They all are. After hours of listening to public comment from parents on both sides of the issue, school board members first considered a 30-day mask mandate for students, which would have allowed parents to opt out, or a 30-day mandate for staff and visitors, but ultimately voted 3-2 to two for the most stringent option, a 90-day mask mandate for everyone, which could be ended early if Sarasota's COVID average drops below 8% for three consecutive days. Masks would return if the average jumps back up to 10%. I care about the health of the children and, and I take that very seriously and I believe that my responsibility is to the majority of the children in the school and I believe the majority of the parents that I received emails from said they want to see a mask. The final vote a relief to some and it passed. Still others remain defiant. I definitely think they should be removed by Governor DeSantis. They broke the law willingly and stomped on parental rights.